60 CL from 4th and High Streets, Keokuk, Iowa. Spanning the Mississippi with the good news of God's love. Here at K60CL, we bring you the best of Christian programming from two networks and a blessing-filled, God-given talent from local brothers and sisters in Christ. Yes, we're Christ Vision, K60CL, Keokuk, Iowa. If you have any questions or comments, you can write us at Christ Vision, P.O. Box 787, Keokuk, Iowa, 52632 or call 319-524-4327. Now, back to the program on K60CL, Christ Vision. Welcome to Miracle in the Word today. We were coming to you today, this, this evening, to our, our weekly Bible study. Hi, my name is Pastor Tyron, Tyrone Say and my wife Sharon Say. And we just want to come to you and give you a word of what God has given us this week. Uh, we're going to pretty well come back from last week on, on things, but it's about the church being the church. And it's, it's time that the church be the church. Uh, will you bow your heads with me, please? Heavenly Father, we thank you right now, Father God. Father God, will we ask that you come and be with us, Lord, and you shall guide us, guide and direct us, Father God, and help us to be what you want us to be, Father God. Help us to remove our, our flesh and allow our spirit man to speak, Father God. Father God, I ask that you touch each and every member that is here and, and the viewers that are viewing us, Father God, that yet someone will have a change in their heart, Father God, that they can serve you, Lord. These things I ask in Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. back to Ephesians, the fourth chapter, starting with the 11th verse, just for a refresher course. And he gave some apostles and some prophets and some evangelists and some pastors and teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the statue of the fullness of Christ. Mm -hmm. When we was here last, we discussed how the church, how the people go to church. Um, we give to the church. We have yeah. functions in the church. Mm -hmm. But it's time that the church become the church, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And we're just, it's, it's a standard we have to live up to that I feel personally in my own life that I have not lived up to. And I can only speak for myself, but even as I speak for myself, I've seen in different areas of my life where even the places that I uh, worshipped in also was not living up to the standing of which God called for the church to be in this day and time. Yes, yes. yes. Amen. Amen. And over in Mark, the ninth chapter, he said that we should, we are the salt of the earth. Mm -hmm. He said, we are the salt of the earth, and if our salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Amen. It says salt is good, but if the salt has lost its saltness, wherewith, wherewith ye season it, have salt in yourselves and peace on with one another. Amen. Amen. We are the salt of the earth. We're the spice of life, as we would say. The church is. We season the earth. 
the earth with the glory of God. Amen. 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 It's, it's good that, that we need to know that we're the salt of the earth mm -hmm. because God is holding us to be that. He says we are. One thing about salt, it has a, a, a function. It has a purpose. And its purpose is to, to, for, for sustaining something for a long period of time. Mm -hmm. and, and one thing about salt, it has a flavor to it that it can be used. I meant uh, when you cook, you use salt. The reason why you use salt, because you like the flavor of salt. God loves our flavor. God created us to have this flavor. And, and if we don't have that salt in, in us, how can we flavor the earth? How can we help one another if we're not a flavor of ourselves? Over in Matthew, the 28th chapter, starting with the 18th verse, it said, And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even until the end of the earth, the end of the world. Amen. Amen. Jesus is telling us, his disciples, his church, the body, mm -hmm. to go therefore unto all the nations, baptizing yes. in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, teaching mm -hmm. to observe all things. Yes, yes. That's true. We, we need to make sure that we're observing and we're, and we're teaching and we're baptizing in all three things. Some of us don't want to baptize in all three things. We think that that uh, baptism is just one thing, but it's into the Father, the Son, and the Holy Amen. Ghost. We just think that we want to be baptized in Jesus only, and it's not it. If we baptize in all three things, then we're into what God has called for us to be. If we're going to be the salt of the earth, we must be the salt of the earth. There's a purpose for the church. The controlling purpose for the, the local church is to make disciples of all kinds of people. Mm -hmm. Those who are evangelizing and con convert should then be baptized, <coughs> attesting to the identification with Christ and to the local body of believers. The final phase of the Great Commission is to train the disciples in Christian knowledge and for effective service. Train the disciples in Christian knowledge and for effective service. One thing our, our, our bishop told us that we must do in life is be effective and efficient. And that's what God has called for us to be. What good would it be to be effective if you can't be efficient in what you do? You'll spend your whole life trying to be effective, and you could have been efficient, and you could have had more people that would listen and come under to what you have to say. It's because of the efficiency that you have, have presented in what you're doing. So we must be effective and we must be efficient in what we're doing under the, the knowledge. A church cannot choose one aspect of, of its responsibility and neglect the other. Mm -hmm. You can't choose one and neglect the other. You, you, you have to do them both. And that's one thing about the church being the church. We can't be part of the church one day and not part of the church the other day. We but can't. Yes, and that's, that's how we, we, do, how our, we do our lives. Mm -hmm. we, we think that that's God. That's what God has called for us to do, and God has not called for us to do that. That's how we come up with so many denominations. We've taken parts of the word and made them law mm -hmm. in our churches, mm -hmm. so to speak. Right. And we separated ourselves from the body. Yes. Because we believe in this one thing, not particularly in what you believe in. Mm -hmm. Even if it's in the Word of God, it's, that's not what we believe. Mm -hmm. This is what we believe, and this is what we're going to stand on. Therefore, because we believe and you don't, right, right, then we separate ourselves. Yes, we do. And, and doing that separation is when we move out of the will of God. Mm -hmm. We're not doing God what God has called for us to do. We're doing godly things. Well, we think that a godly thing is a good thing. Mm -hmm. That's not what it's called for us to do. We must move into the will of God. Right. Excuse me. And to do everything God has called for us to do. We've been doing our own, own way too long. When we need to know that we are the church. The places where we go is a place of worship. God That's says right. he dwells in no place 
that's built of man's hands. He doesn't dwell there. He dwells in you. So we need to make sure that we become the church and to walk like the church, talk like the church, and believe that we can make a difference in our lives, in others' lives. We've come too far to to allow this to slip through. That's We've come right. too far to, to be ignorant in the word. That's right. We've come too far to just want to pick what's good for me and what's not good for me. That's right. We need to take the whole word. And whether it's hard to swallow, that's good. Mm-hmm. That's good because the Lord chastens the who, who he loves. That's right. So it's good that you have to swallow a bitter pill once in a while. But one thing for sure, you're getting into moving into the will of God. We've gotten away from it, church. We need to let everybody know that we are the church. And through this church we have, God has called for us to be the chosen generation. That's right. The chosen generation. That's right. You are a chosen child of God. That's right. And we need to act like that. And to move into that realm is to know the word, not take bits and pieces of it. Study it. Show yourself approved. Show what, and find out what God has for you what God has for you. Don't allow somebody to dictate to you what your life is. Well, If you allow that, then you're not moving into the will of God. You know, now that you mentioned that, we have become mechanical parts. Hmm. And I know this might upset a few people. It upset me when it became revelation knowledge to me about being a mechanical part. You know, like remote control toys we function only when we are controlled by a certain certain power pack every power pack don't work on all toys and that's how we have treated ourselves in our churches we go to our own church we get our power source from there we're not coming over to your church because our power is right here we're not listening to nobody else but our pastor because our power is right here mm-hmm. but that's not that's not the power of the Holy Ghost he, that's not mm-hmm. how he operates right, right. if we are the church and we are all hooked up mm-hmm. to Jesus mm-hmm. then we should all be able to function with the same power pack yes that's true the word is the word it doesn't matter who it comes out of as long as it is the word and if you're in a place where you're not allowed to receive from anyone else but your own power pack, then you need to check yourself. Yes. Because Jesus, he, he went from place to place teaching the gospel, showing signs and wonders that, that followed him mm-hmm. to them who believed him. And it's kind of hard to see signs and to see wonders when you're stuck in a pit, Mm -hmm. not able to come out among the rest of the brethren. Because, you know, none of us know everything. Nobody knows everything. You know, we're not the smartest people in in the world. I mean, we are the smartest people because we are God's people, but there are people who are a lot smarter than we are. There's always someone else who knows something more than what we know. There's always someone else who has experienced something different than we have that we can learn from. God has placed people in places to be witnesses unto all of us, not just to those who are out there on the streets who we think because they are out there they need our assistance you would be surprised of how many people who don't go into churches know more about the word of God than those who go to church every Sunday why because they haven't gotten caught up into the mechanicalism of church they haven't gotten caught up into the Pharisees kind of church that we have been dealing with today amen amen And, and, and it's true that that we need to know who we are in Christ. That's right. You, it says in the word, try the spirit, find the spirit. Mm-hmm. And it tells you that so you can know what direction to go in your life. Mm-hmm. Not everything is what you think it is, but everything is what God wants it to be. So you're not going to know until you try the spirit, by the spirit, in what direction to be led. Mm-hmm. The Great Commission is a simple command 
with three steps, evangelism, baptism, and education. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Do you hear what I'm saying? To evangelize, you need to go out and evangelize to people. You need to let them know. And to be, and to be baptized, you need to be baptized in the Spirit of the Lord. Mm -hmm. You have to be baptized in the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. And to be educated. It says study to show yourself approved. We need to educate ourselves so that yet we don't get wrapped up in another man's belief. Mm -hmm. You need to get wrapped up in Jesus Christ's belief. He will reveal some things to you. He will reveal knowledge unto you. If you're lacking in knowledge, God will give you the knowledge that you need. Yeah. But one thing you do, you must seek him. Yeah. You must seek him. Yes. The Great Commission is the strategy by which a church at Jerusalem uh, stated its community with gospel and the application every Christian should determine that his ministry for Christ in the church upholds God's objectives for that instructions. So we need to know that if God is instructing us, mm -hmm. God is telling us, we've got to lean on God and going through evangelizing, baptism, and, and be educated in what God is having for us to be educated in. We are becoming the church now. We're becoming what God called us to be. He didn't call us to be a computer. He didn't call us to be half the church. He called us to be the whole church. Yes. He didn't give us a, a, a half a mind. He gave us a whole mind. And that mind is to serve God at the fullest. Mm -hmm. And that's what we must do. You know, he also said that you will, we will know them by their fruits. By their fruits. That's what he said. And he also said that he was the true vine. Yes, he did. Therefore, yes, he did. we would have to be still connected to him. Yes. And apart from him, there's nothing we can do. Nothing we can do. There's nothing we can do. So when you separate yourself from the body of Christ, when you uh, place yourself in a position to go to church instead of becoming the church, you cut yourself off from the body. You cut yourself off from the vine. Amen? Amen. Amen. Which, which only means that you're playing church. Yes. You're playing church, and as the pastor say said earlier, with no power, with no efficiency, yes. with no effectiveness. Yes. We're going every Sunday. We're going every Wednesday. We're going every Saturday. We're singing our praises. We're clapping our hands. We're lifting our voices. But we're not affecting anyone. Right. We're not even affecting ourselves. We're having a good time. We've got our exercise for the day. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but That's we've true. left the same way we've come in. We we wiped the sweat off. Yes. But as soon as we sat down and relaxed, we don't think of the goodness of God. We think of, oh, Lord, what am I going to do about this problem now? Oh, Lord, it's done come back. You know, yes, yes. We, we never left it at the altar, which he has called for us to do. Every time we enter into his presence, we should leave a gift yes. before the Lord. Yes. He said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, yes. his courts with praise. Right. He said, make your petitions known unto him. Yes, yes. And going in to a building hmm. because it's the family building mm -hmm. or it's where our ancestors been going all this time yeah. or that's where all the kids are yeah. that's where my child like to go or there are younger people there and they play better music there and all those little additives you still haven't mentioned the power of God mm -hmm. we need the power of God over in Acts the second chapter, starting at the 38th verse, Peter, then Peter said unto them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the Amen. name of Jesus Christ, for the remissions of sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost, for the promises unto you and to your children, and to all that are far off, 
even as many as the Lord our God shall call. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. Yes. Then they gladly received his word, were baptized, and the same day there were added unto them about 3,000 souls. And they continue steadfastly in the apostles' doctrine and fellowship, and in breaking of bread and in prayers. And fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. And all that believed were together, and had all things common, and sold their possessions and goods, and parted them to all men as every man had need. And they continually daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house did eat their meat with gladness and singleness of heart praising God and having favor with all the people and the Lord added to the church daily such as should be added Amen. they came together on one accord praying yes. fasting yes, yes. breaking bread fellowshipping, edifying, exhorting, praising. Yeah. They come together from house to house. Mm -hmm. They did this, that's fellowshipping. Yeah. And that's what we have to do. They became the body. They became yeah. one body right? with one accord. Right. And, and that's what he says, on one accord and one mm -hmm. body. That's when you're moving into the realm of what God has for you. That's right. When he, God has called for us to repent, a repentance means to change your mind. Mm -hmm. it's a, repentance means to change your mind. Some of us think that we have to go through a big, long thing. Oh, I got to go home and repent tonight. They got to go home and do a bunch of things. They just need to go in with a simple prayer of asking forgiveness and to change their mind and go forth in what God has called for us. That's I right. think we become the church. We've gotten too deep and, and too involved in what it takes to be the church. Well, we think we've got to do so many things or we've got to have somebody else pray for us or we've got to go and do a certain ritual. No, we don't have to do all of that. We need to repent and to change our minds. It means to change our mind and fundamentally our attitudes. Mm -hmm. If you're going to change your mind, you have to change your attitude. That's right. You can't keep your mind changed and think your attitude's not going to change. They have to go hand in hand with one another. And if you don't do one, you have to do the other. Don't just take a part of God's word and believe that's the only part that affects you. That is wrong. The whole word affects you. Be funda Have your, fundamental, your attitude fundamentally changed because that is the renewing of the mind. Once you have your mind changed, it fundamentally becomes changed as an attitude. It is a renewing of your mind then. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? It's a renewing of your mind. And that's what God has called for us to do, is to renew our minds and to renew, and renew unto him what we're supposed to do. That's right. That is the church, church. Be the church. It's time for us to be the church. We went too long without being that. We need to step up and become the church God has called for us to be. One thing about God, God is an exciting God. God is a loving God. God doesn't want to see you sad. That don't, God doesn't want to see you not have the, 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 the be prosperous as your soul prospers. Well. God wants you to have all these things. Mm -hmm. But there's a renewing of your mind that must take place. First, the, the, the repentance, the baptism, the evangelizing. We have to do, we have to study to show ourselves approved. And once we're getting into the realm of this, your life will change. Mm -hmm. There will become fruits in your life, and you'll be able to see the fruits in your life. Mm -hmm. If you don't have no fruits in your life, I'm telling you, you're not doing the will of God. Now, now Jesus, he, he, he cursed the, the fig tree that wasn't producing figs. If you're not producing, you're not being in the will of God. God wants to use each and every one of you. And there's a time and a place that God has for everybody to be used. But if you don't study, how can you be used by God? That's right. How can you know what God wants if you don't to, don't to see what God wants? Mm -hmm. You come in and get a good message, and then you go home, and you can't even remember what the, the message was about. 
because you had not gotten God deep inside of you. Dealing with mechanical parts. <laughs> we're functioning as we were told to function. Yes. Instead of functioning because of who made us to function. Yes, that's true. That's true. You know, everyone is saying, God bless America. And, you know, we, we truly want God to bless America. We truly want God to deliver us from this evil that is taking place in, in our country and uh -huh. over in Afghanistan. Yes. We want the Lord to bless our president and our and our re representatives. Mm -hmm. We want God to bless us. But, you know, he said in his word in Second Chronicles, yeah. he said, if my people, hmm. which are called by my name, yes. shall humble themselves and pray. Humble yourself and pray. And seek my face. Yes. And turn from their wicked ways. Oh, well. Then will I hear from heaven. And will heal their land. Yes. He's talking about the church. Yes, he is. When the church turned from their wicked ways. Yes. What are wicked ways? Mechanicalism. Mm -hmm. Ineffective to the will of God. Yes. Making the word of God of no effect. That's what he says. Turn from our wicked ways. Yes. And seek his face. Yes. He'll heal our land. Yes, he will. It's up to the church to be the church. And until the church becomes the church that God has called for us to be, mm. heaven help us. Yes. That is right. One thing about this, what she just said, you can't take one part and pray and thank God. That's, that's all God has required. You've got to change. And you've got to be called unto what God has called for us to do, for him to come and heal our land we just want to be one thing out of what she read. God has called for it all to go together, not pick one thing. And, and during this time, church, we've got to do that. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we do thank yes, you God. for this time. We yes, thank God. you, Lord God, for your words of wisdom and yes, understanding. Lord. Lord God, we pray that we become the church that you have called for in this yes, day God. and time. Yes, Keep Lord. us in your care. Yes, God. Keep your angels wrapped around about us, Lord God. In Jesus' glorious name, we give Jesus you praise. Name. Amen. Amen. Well, we hope to come to you again uh, next week. And, and we'll be just in prayer. There's so much here. We just can't touch bases on it all. But we thank God we have an opportunity to just to say what God has said for us in our hearts. But we ask as viewers, keep tuning in to us. And we will keep preaching the Word of God and, and, and Bible studying the Word of God. And then we will die that way. For me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. Amen. And I pray that you too. Amen. God bless you and God keep you. For all those times you look